or its history. Toyota, let's go places. Lord have mercy. Judge Mathis. You're watching CBSN New York. A manhole explodes underneath a car in Queens. The damage done and what firefighters say was likely the cause. The second impeachment trial of Donald Trump has begun. What happened during the first day of debate? Also truly a man's best friend. See a stroke survivor finally reunited with the dog who helped save his life. Good evening. I'm Christine Johnson. I'm Maurice Dubois. We're going to begin here on Stormwatch. The chance of snow not going away anytime this week. Lonnie Quinn is here with what we can expect. Lonnie. Yeah. Well, you know what, guys? We picked up the snow this today, and it was really Sullivan, Ulster, Dutchess County that had the biggest numbers, and we talked about that. Farther north you go, the bigger your number. And for Woodridge, New York, and Sullivan County, almost four and a half inches. LaGrange in Dutchess County, three and a half inches. Olive Bridge, Ulster County, you were three inches even. Teterboro, one one hundredth, but... That was really sort of sleet and a little bit of icing involved as well. Central Park had a trace of snow, so you did not add to your 32.5 inches that you've had so far this season. But here's what you should be expecting. And what I'm concerned about is that things will be refreezing tonight, be it fresh snow that you picked up or if you just had rain out there. It's all going to freeze. Slippery roads would be the result. There's a lull in the action tomorrow, but we're back at it Thursday with another chance for some snow for your day tomorrow. 33 degrees, partly sunny, good-looking day outside. It is cold, feels like the 20s, but it's the morning lows, which will be in the teens and the 20s where you could have those little spots of black ice out there. So please be careful about that. Guys, I'll be back a little bit later with the extended forecast. All right, Lonnie, thanks. The historic second impeachment trial of Donald Trump